Hey guys, welcome to Amy's Autopsy Report. My name's Amy. Um, this is going to be a review for the found footage film called Area 51. Um, I just finished watching this movie. It is available on Amazon Prime. Um, it's called Area 51. It is a Blumhouse production, a 2015 film, an hour and 35 minutes long, and it's directed by Oren Paley, who also directed paranormal activity and um it was produced by the people who produced the purge um some of the purge movies so let's get into the basic plot of this movie uh let me first say that i am a big fan of anything area 51 and aliens and ufos i love that stuff so i was pretty excited when i found this movie and then I was disappointed because all of the reviews were terrible, or the majority of the reviews were, ter were terrible. And I decided, you know what, I'm going to watch it anyway and just see what it's about. So let's get into the basic plot. You have um, three guys who devise this plan to break into Area 51, and they're going to document everything. And you don't initially know why they're doing all of this, um, but one of the guys supposedly sees some light in the sky at a party, which I don't know that they ever showed that, but they, they tell you later on in the film. So that's the basic plot is them, they're going to break into Area 51 and they're going to get a bunch of footage from it. And, uh, you know, I don't know what they're going to do with the footage. I don't know if they even said, but that's the basic plot. It is a found footage film, so you do have some of the shaky cam. I didn't think it was too bad, though. I don't typically have a problem with found footage movies. And I think even if you don't like found footage movies, the shaky cam in this isn't really as noticeable as, say, like Blair Witch. That's really shaky. Um, so let's get into the things I liked about this movie. I loved that it had to do with Area 51, obviously. I didn't even mind that it was like found footage and that they were going to like go in and, and document this stuff. I liked the, the acting was believable. I liked the aliens. I liked the footage that they got inside. The sets looked pretty cool. The sets looked pretty amazing actually. Um, and I felt like it had some tense moments to it. Uh, let's get into the things I didn't like about this movie. The, sto the story is you have to suspend a whole lot of disbelief to, to make it through this movie. Because not only, okay, so they have all of these systems devised to break into Area 51 and ways to like jam the electronic signals from some of the sensors and ammonia detection and all of this stuff. They've got all of this stuff. I always find it comical in these found footage movies that, that these people who always are like 20, 25 years old have thousands of dollars worth of camera equipment. <laughs> it's just like nobody ever just goes in there with like a $200 GoPro or something. They've all got, they're all outfitted with like several cameras. They've got these Freon suits to uh, throw off the heat sensors and, and all of, all of that. So I, I found that comical that they had like thousands upon thousands of dollars worth of equipment. And it's never explained that it, it's only taken them three months to, de to devise this plan. So in three months, they, they bought all of this insanely expensive equipment. So that's one thing. Another thing that I found, um, kind of comical is that, a lot of the things come way too easy for the characters. There, I feel like it would have been a better movie if there had been a little bit more conflict happening. Um, another thing, I think, I didn't mind it because I thought the action was like well-paced. Everything was well-paced. But I think a lot of people are going to have a problem with the fact that the, uh, the first whole hour is them trying to break in to Area 51. So you have all of these other different scenes, and then they're only in there for like a half an hour of the movie, which of course all this other stuff goes wrong once they're in there. And I'm not going to divulge any of that in case you want to watch it, but 
everything just came way too easy for these people. Um, they, they didn't have like enough conflict in them trying to get in and, and, and all of that. Um, overall, I was, like I said, I was kind of surprised that this movie got such bad reviews. Um, I actually enjoyed it. I actually really liked it. I don't know how many of you will like it. I think if you're a, a big UFO, alien, Area 51 sort of like enthusiast, you might get a kick out of this movie. It is on Amazon Prime, so and you don't have to pay to watch it if you have Prime. So if you want to check it out, definitely check it out. I think it's worth a watch, but I don't know how many of you will actually like it. It is found footage. It's kind of like a, it's basically like a mashup of the Blair Witch Project and an Area 51 movie. <laughs> so um, I'm going to say, I, to me, it was worth a watch. I liked it. It's hard for me to determine, though, whether or not you all would would like it. I would say watch it at your own risk because I'm not sure how you all feel about found footage movies. If you like them, they don't bother you at all. I say give it a watch. I didn't feel like the movie was boring at any point or anything. Um, and it was way better than I anticipated after reading some of the, the reviews. But um, I'm going to give it a three and a half out of five. I liked it. Um, it's on Amazon Prime. Check it out if you want to. And that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you like these videos, give me a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram at Amy's Autopsy Report, and I will catch you guys in the next one.